accused of breaking into a Mattapan home and throwing Molotov cocktails. Thanks for staying with us. I'm Paula Eben. And I'm Lisa Hughes. Police say this home on West Main Street was targeted. As WBZ's Beth Germano reports this evening, the woman who lives there was inside when it happened. Um, it smells like propane and gasoline. And luckily, we don't have um, gas stoves. We have electric. Tania Smith inside her Mattapan home with the front door and window boarded up. Glass being cleaned from her back door that was also smashed. The 27-year-old still shaking. I would say really frightening, like really scary. I'm not used to this around this neighborhood. It's not um, common that we usually have break-ins or, you know, um, trespassers. But this is the man who allegedly not only trespassed, but vandalized her West Main Street home yesterday afternoon. 30-year-old Laterell Murchison, charged with arson, accused of first trying to break into the front door, then smashing the front window and setting curtains on fire, then allegedly lobbing a plastic bottle with accelerant through her back door that set a small fire in the kitchen, all while she was home. I heard the glass broke, break first, and I'm like, I stood there for a while, like, shocked and amazed. I'm like, maybe that's just me hearing things. Smith says Murchison is a childhood acquaintance, but has no idea why he would allegedly target her. Um, I just back, basically um, backed away and, um, you know, just begged for him to go home. A neighbor who called 911 and didn't want to be identified worried it all could have escalated. I think it would have been more frightening had he actually followed through with his intentions because uh, it seemed like he panicked. Um, what do you think those intentions were? Oh, to set the place on fire. He should not remain incarcerated. He, he needs to be at home with his mother, helping her and, and, and mandated to, 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 to receive the treatment he needs. His attorney unsuccessfully argued that Murchison needs help, not jail time. Tania Smith says she hopes he does get help. He would really need a lot of therapy, whatever's going on in his life. Murchison is being held without bail until a dangerousness hearing next week. Tania Smith says after this ordeal, she wants to find a new place to live. At West Roxbury District Court, I'm Beth Germano, WBZ News. Beth, thank you.